Co friends, and welcome to another episode of Find Natural Hair Rocks, and I'm your curl friendly lawyer, Lavinia Latham. Today's episode, we are going to talk about this little baby right here. This is the Curl Origin Marula and Quinoa Restorative Leave-In Conditioner. It is meant to restore, strengthen, and hydrate your curls. If you are watching Find Natural Hair Rocks for the first time and you're considering subscribing, just know that I post videos related to beauty, hair, lifestyle, fashion, and of course, law and business. You guys, let me give you a little bit of tea. My hair was going through it and then some. <laughs> it was breaking, it felt like it was weak, it was brittle, like it just didn't feel right. I had to really reassess things and think to myself like why is this happening? In reassessing things I realized that I actually had a bit of moisture overload. So this is the Curl Origin Marula and Quinoa Restorative Leave-In Conditioner. It says that it's meant to strengthen and hydrate your hair. In terms of the ingredients it's got water, chamomilia, ricutita, flower extract, <laughs> it's got calendula officinalis flower extract, these words y'all, it's got horsetail leaf extract, okay, the hentrimonia methosulfate, cedral alcohol, marshmallow root extract, marula oil, grapeseed oil, watermelon <laughs> seed oil, phenoxethanol, quinoa milk, fragrance, panthenol, vitamin B5, and silk peptides. In terms of the ingredients, I would definitely say that the ingredients are, for me, a five out of five. I don't see any funky synthetic, I don't see any funky weird ingredients that would probably cause like reproductive issues or skin issues or just irritation in general, nothing like that, which is fantastic. It does have the phenoxethanol in it, which I'm not really the biggest fan of, but because that phenoxethanol is somewhere down at the fourth last ingredients, in the list that means that this product has a very little amount of that which is fantastic so yeah curl friends <laughs> in terms of the ingredients i would definitely say that the ingredients are a five out of five in terms of the consistency you guys i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys really quickly on camera what it's kind of looking like so as you guys can see, it's pretty lightweight in nature. Um, for fine natural hair, you really want lightweight products, and this definitely fits the bill. So I am liking that. Um, I think it's a nice product. So in terms of the consistency, I would definitely say that the consistency is like somewhere between like a four out of five. So four stars out of five. In terms of the smell, let me go ahead and give it a whiff test. Right here on camera, we're gonna do this whiff test. Ooh, it kind of has like a smell of like flowers and like something clean and fresh. The scent is very, very fresh. It is faint. It's not a strong scent. So if you're somebody who doesn't like strong scents, this isn't something that I would say has a super strong scent to it. Fresh, very like I just took a shower type feel, which is fantastic, which is amazing. I love that. What else are we? So we talked about ingredients. We talked about consistency. We talked about smell. Four, does it work? Product effectiveness. Girlfriend, it definitely works. Let me tell you that when I put this in my hair, honestly, the brittleness, the weakness, it just came to an end. Mind you, putting out the disclaimer, I definitely did just finish doing like a hard protein treatment on my hair. And so my hair is very, very, it, like it's, it's enjoying that. This just literally went in and was able to penetrate my strands in a way that wasn't just total protein, but it was a lesser amount of moisture. Because if your hair is suffering from moisture overload, which is exactly what my hair is going through right now, you don't want a lot of moisture on top of that. You wanna definitely be using protein-led products products that are gonna give your strands back the strength that it needs. In terms of directions, it says to apply liberally to clean damp hair from roots to ends. Do not rinse out and proceed to style. So I haven't used this as a styler. I feel that this leave-in is implying that you can use it as a leave-in, but then you can also use it as a styler. So I haven't used it as a styler yet. I can't give you guys that review because I just haven't used it in that way. I've always applied something on it after, but as a leave-in, it's fantastic. I love it. I absolutely love it. So we've talked about ingredients. We've talked about consistency. We've talked about um, the scent and we've talked about effectiveness. Here is the big question. Would I repurchase it? Yes, girlfriend, I would totally repurchase it. This product is so on point. I love it, I love the entire line, I love the facts that the ingredients are super clean, and I just overall don't have any issues with it. Like, what is there to have an issue with? 
<laughs> it's a good product. Curlfriend crew, have you tried Curl Origin before? If you've tried Curl Origin before, let me know in the comment box below. Let me know if which product you've tried. And if you haven't tried Curl Origin before, are you currently going through a situation where you think some of these products might work well for you? If you are, I'd love to know that too. Thank you so much for my old time subscribers, the old time curl friends. I really do appreciate you. And thank you so much to the new subscribers. I really appreciate each and every one of you so much. If you guys are enjoying this content and you want more content as it relates to natural hair, beauty, lifestyle, and online business, and of course, law, then definitely join the Curlfriend crew by hitting up the subscribe button right there so that you never ever miss another video. And also, don't forget to hit up that notification bell as well too so that you really never ever miss another video. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching, Curlfriends, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye! Mwah.